In this video, we are going to make incredible drum sound right out of Logic's alchemy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and website. It's a pleasure to make this video with the all of you guys. Uh, for many, many years, I was making drum sounds out of different synthesizers and I came to the conclusion that there are so many, so many doing the job incredibly well. Uh, I take Sarum from X, uh, X for Records as an example, but there are so many more and please check them all out because they're all worth it. And I started making, I remember when using Logic 9, Logic 8 even, I was making drum sounds out of the older synthesizers such as of course, the first drum machine present in Logic, Ultrabeat, but also in ES2, which was so inspiring. So for each section, kick, snare, uh, percussion, tom, clap and everything, we are going to make a few drum sounds, a few examples together. So let's start with the kick drum. And you see that I'm going to start from scratch in Alchemy, just with this guy here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is choose for the kick drum a sine wave. Okay, we have to check the fundamental, uh, fundamental note here. And um, to make sure that we are going to use the right note, I'm going to use a tuner next to Alchemy. Okay, now I have to... You see, I turned off the, ski, the key scale in Alchemy, which... Which is going to make it much easier I have an F sharp. Uh, if I go just a few, I have a G, G sharp, an A. An A in this case is going to be 55 hertz. I'm going for G. That's the lowest note I would go for when making a drum, uh, well, synth drums like this. So, first thing extremely important check in the VA section on the right that the phase doesn't go any random but just at zero percent this way you have a perfect sign and you can also say hey I want it to start at 25% and hear exactly what's going to happen. It's magic. Can you hear this click? Can you hear this? That is something that's going to emphasize the click transient of your kick drum. Secondly, we're going to modulate the course tuning of this oscillator with, say, a simple envelope here. An envelope 2, and let's say just for 24 semitones, which, which is 2 octaves. This is a bit long, so let's, let's change the curve to begin with. Still a bit too long for me. Okay, now we go back to ADSR1, which is linked to the um, to the amplitude envelope of the patch, and we can just do the opposite. And here, can you hear this? The click is gone because the attack has to be set manually to 0.0, .0 seconds. Make sure that is the case. Make sure also that the curve. You see, it keeps doing the same thing. It's very annoying. Now we have this, 
and we go back to ADSR2 and you see the same problem here the attacks are at 0 0.001 seconds instead of you really have to be extremely uh, careful with the little details for the sake of this process if you would like a bit more a bit less decay but a, a bit more oomph but not too much 33 36 is the big maximum that I would use okay now we have something cool and I think this is quite decent isn't it let's not use the, the sink of course and if you want the click to be to tame the, the click a little bit you just use you see the small click the difference that it makes it's just crazy isn't it so use here to 25% is gonna be uh, here the symmetry um, is very helpful because it's gonna add some kind of distortion right away some wave shaping and here it is I have some kind of 909 kick drum between the 808 and the 909 really convincing and uh, when pushing it with the right amount of drive you know we can do something very decent here and uh, of course, I would always add some fat effects and some EQ to tame the two, uh, 250 hertz region section, uh, just to make it a bit less muddy. But I, I do that on the uh, right away on the bus, as you can see here. Um, I also tame the um, cut, the uh, the low end, and uh, add a bit of resonance with the slope at 18 dB, just to give it an extra oomph. Uh, that's one way to make a kick drum. I'm gonna show you another way while at it. And this one is gonna is gonna be really cool. So same thing. Uh, instead of using the sine wave, I'm gonna use noise. Gonna make sure that it could be any kind of no you have different types of noise by the way in alchemy and uh, you have to check them all out really recommend that but for the sake of the, the kick drum because we need a, a lot of sound okay I'm gonna use a filter and uh, I'm going I'm going to use a bandpass filter uh, the MG will uh, do the trick probably and I set the cutoff to minimum for now or well, let's say even here to 50 Hertz and I'm gonna add a modulation with an, uh, an ADSR and of course it has to be really 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 short and the second thing I'm gonna do is raise the resonance So if you want something that sounds a bit more like a psytrance or psychedelic kick drum, you can use this trick. If you don't want it to sound like this, just go back. You can also try the other filter types because each resonant filter will give you a different result. You hear that? You can also try uh, the low pass filter, then I would take the 60 dB. Not sure about uh, about this one 
to be uh, to be honest. I would take a 24 dB reach instead. And here we are. Also, make sure that the noise is mono because you will have phasing issues. So make sure that it's all mono, of course. Uh, you can also try the other, as I said, you can also try the other sources of noise because there are samples in this case. Listen to that, beautiful. Let's make sure that it's long enough. A quarter second is uh, is a perfect. So if you want something a bit more, a bit more um, resonant, a bit more tricky to uh, to use, you know, that's your friend. What you can also do to make it very punchy while keeping the this tr this kind of oomph, um, you use a second envelope. And you set it just like this, like that, and and there you have it. That's cool, isn't it? So you have this incredible click now. You can also tame it a bit. All the things you can do with just and a white noise or a simple fire noise sample in the background and the filter. This is the magic. So that was the kick drum. What about the snare now? Um, the snare is a is a lot trick uh, is a lot trickier, but not that tricky after all. The first thing you're gonna need is a sine wave set to approximately 200 hertz. So 200 hertz is going to be G something. Okay, so now we're going to do this. And to make sure that it clicks at the beginning, again, because we, we are going to need that. Okay, that's the main part. Of course, we can also add a bit of modulation on the pitch of this oscillator. So this is exactly what I'm going to do here. Here. Not too much, just what you need. Okay, don't overdo it. Never. Make sure with the tuner that it's remain in sync. That's your first part. And now we're gonna use a second oscillator, this time with the noise. And also worth mentioning, we cannot use this one, the first one. We're gonna use another one. I'm gonna show you, I'm uh, gonna explain in a second. But... So independently, we can say, hey, uh, I want this to be driven by, by another envelope. Let's use something else than white noise. I would say this. And I you could use the AHDSR2 that you use for the pitch of oscillator 1 here. Okay, now we 
make it a bit longer. And now we're going to use another one here, another noise, this time white. And the volume, another ADSR. This time, we crank the attack. Okay. And we make it shorter. cool thing is you have a, these low and high cuts on e pretty much everything. Okay, what we need now on the global is to crank the drive all up. Okay, and now let's say that I want uh, the noise and now and you can also add some I think it's quite convincing isn't it um, and of course you can add some more extra compression, fat compressor. Not too much. If you add too much, you kill your... I think we're pretty much there. Um, that's one way to make a snare. I'm gonna show you quickly another way to make one. Okay, very simple. Noise. Okay. AHDSR, you just make it the way you want. I think this is good. And uh, let's say I want to, yeah, this is what I want. I want to use a filter and uh, a rich filter, but this time an, a high pass filter. And I will modulate this one with an envelope. So for now, doesn't make any difference but once you raise the resonance look at what happens and by now adapting if you want something a bit more analog sounding this is how I would do it Of course, can also try ah this one surprisingly. Yeah, if I do this, yeah, pretty much there. Of course, once again, mono to keep it in the middle, just like the bass drum, because if you don't do that, you will end up having face issues. It's better to add some stereo uh, material than um, having to remove it afterwards. It's uh, let's crank uh, up the drive on the f on the main filter here. This is it. A nice snare drum and you can just bounce it in place right away what about we make a clap now so the clap is 
two, three, or even four noises, um, uh, white noises, put different uh, within different timings. So noise. Let's use this one. Okay. Uh, that's going to be the main envelope. Okay. Let's have a look at what I'm going to do here. Uh, this one will be the first click, let's say. So for that purpose, uh, instead of using this, I'm going to use... Yeah, let's, see. let's use this one after all. And um, let's say I want a new AHDSR on there, and I just do this. And you will just hear this tiny click here, which is exactly what I want. Okay, that's number one. I'm going to set it to mono again. Uh, this is not what I want. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to copy this source, paste it here. Now I have two. But this way, I'm going to set this one a bit further. And you see, with the attack, I just set it a bit further, change the curve. So we have number one, number two, oh, of course. I had to change the envelope. So I go back here. Okay. I go there. I see the modulation that's going to be here. And I add a new ADSR. And I do exactly what I wanted to do here. You see, it's already taking shape. We have the, like a snap now. And I can change the tonality with these filters right at the oscillator level. And then I'm going to paste or just use a white noise here. And in this case, I'm going to use a filter with a very good gritty Okay. This way, now I can go back to. Okay. Now I cranked up uh, the uh, the drive completely. I can add, add some resonance in this case. It's quite nice and for uh, you know what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna... ah here that's another problem here because I didn't add an amplitude envelope for this one I have to correct this and make it so that it has its own amplitude envelope Quite convincing, isn't it? I don't know about you. I'm uh, I'm okay with that. So we have these three oscillators. Once again, crank up the drive. And you can always say, "Hey, I want." Hey. That sounds like a 909 almost, with a little bit more snap. And uh, you can always make it uh, much shorter. And use the global envelope, uh, which is number one here, to make it... Um, I would use... Also, 
some kind of tube. Not too much, of course. You do a bit of pre-gain. And also we, you make it shorter. But of course it's gonna kill your transients. So make sure that you keep an eye on your meters, but also listen carefully to what you're doing. Um, and you can also change. So you have a bit more transients now from the, the other two here, these two guys. While you have that guy playing the the tail, the role of the tail. I wouldn't put too much resonance in there. Because if you do that, it, it doesn't sound right. And from there, you just add. And let's add an effect like, for example, a reverb, quickly. Okay. Not a fan of this reverb. Let's use another. Much better. And uh, let's say that I want to. can also crank it up like this and have something like and actually this is the cool thing about alchemy you can use this and say hey I want an envelope on this and uh, you just say And then you just EQ or change the, the settings here in the acoustic reverb and as soon as you stop playing the, the key, the reverb stops. So we have the kick, the snare, the clap, the hat is missing. So Same thing, but we can use uh, this time a uh, sine wave again. Uh, I would say basic sine. And uh, Let's cut the key follow once again. Let's use a separate envelope for this. Yeah, quite nice. Can I? The highest I can go, unfortunately. Um, maybe here. Ah, uh, that's the cool thing about the VA oscillator in uh, in Alchemy. You can add some sync, you know, especially with this kind of. And actually, it's, it's that simple. You use a bit more, and bam, you have your analog type of. You can even set the volume. Who needs a drum brute <laughs> like me? You know, you see my my drum brute behind me. <laughs> it's not it's not being used anymore. Uh, it's a great drum machine, but most of the time I work pretty much in the box. So uh, I w I'd rather stick to to this. Also worth noting, you can add. A weight thing so it doesn't play right away but let's say I want something hey you know what let's copy the source let's paste it here so yeah basically doing the same but this one
you see and add some sync so yeah we have two different and um, you see there is a modulation here um, and I would like to change here and set it to a different So different values so and now I make it wait and it creates this little click 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 you see that could be very useful when making claps for example I hadn't thought about this Okay, uh, what about I want to take it further from there and make it sound a little bit more realistic. The rig mod is your friend. Because it adds a different flavor. That's the global filter, and of course I set it to serial, change the, then I have another set of... Um, the down sampler is also going to be very helpful. That's basically what I what I would do with, it, with this. And if you want to uh, add a little bit more modulation on this one, just take another envelope and you see, this is what you can also do here. So we have yeah, drum. Uh, Kick drum, snare drum, clap, hi-hat, name it. We can do it all, cymbals, ride, toms. Let's, let's make it tom quickly. Um, no, I don't want to save it consolidated. I want to initialize this preset. Uh, let's make it tom quickly. Um, I would use a sine wave for that. Okay, you go to A, again, the, the the phase to 25%, no random, like this. I would sh uh, keep the key scale off. Okay, a little bit. It's actually the same trick as for the, uh, the kick drum. And you set a different envelope here, a bit of depth. I said a bit. That's the thing. It's a bit. Voila. And uh, let's add some drive. sink here. If you really want to add some uh, some dirt in there. You can also add some here in the noise you have the these little boys and I use them all the time. And you can also mm. noting crank it up and you can use a down center or a bit crusher is also a good option if you want for another flavor 
and the same for percussion with different settings. Um, let's say I want to uh, to make some tuk uh, tuk or something. You know, you know, shaker is uh, quite obvious for most of you. You just use a filtered uh, white noise. But let's uh, do something like again less. Um, less envelope on the chorus tune of this oscillator. Or shorter values works too. And very short envelope overall. Can also do this. A bit of symmetry. And let's disable the key scale too. It's still a bit too much for me. So uh, coming here. And the envelope really has. really has to be short, as short as possible. And if you want to add some flavor to it, here, you can use the convolution reverb. And in the convolution reverb, you have all these IRs that you can use. Uh, for example, ghost rhythms, speakers. Cool, isn't it? So. Just in a matter of seconds, I completely changed the sound. I make I made something very, yeah, very unique out of it. Can also change the size. See, they these uh, transistor radio speaker IRs are very very useful. You uh, also have like, and can reverse them but I wouldn't I cannot see any can also determine the end and you can add, add some white noise still to add a bit of flavor that's it that's pretty much it you can do pretty much everything in alchemy when it comes to uh, drum synthesized drums that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did making it and uh, sharing my knowledge of logic with you guys thanks a lot once again uh, for watching and please consider subscribing if you like this video and uh, giving me a, a blue thumb up